Real quick, I'm Christine of Side Street Market and thanks for coming back to my channel. I just wanted to hop on here. You're about to shop with John and I at Renegers Mount Dora during their giant extravaganza. And I just wanted to take a second before the video starts to say thank you to all the wonderful vendors I met there. Everyone who let me film their booth. People were open, sharing their knowledge. You could really tell that they were selling what they love and doing what they love. And there was so much knowledge at the show. And then of course we got to meet George the Antique Nomad, which was awesome. He's just as nice in person, down earth as he is in his videos. So just a thank you to everyone who was open and welcoming and to all the wonderful vendors at the show who work so hard. Look forward to seeing you all next year and let's go ahead and do some shopping. Hey friends, welcome back. I'm Christine of Side Street Market and I am in a moving car because team John and I, who is driving, safety first, are heading at the crack of dawn to Renninger's Mount Dora, Florida. That's right, guys. We are going to the Antique Extravaganza. This is the first time for us since 2020 that we are heading out there. We took the day off of work and we're gonna go and look for some antiques and see what goodies we can find. So come along with us. All right, guys, here we go. We are approaching Renninger's. Not too bad. We're here on a Friday. So it's not too backed up yet, but there we go. There's all the, wow, it's packed already. Yep. The line is all the way back there. All right guys, we're getting our tickets. We're heading in, the line was up the hill and it is packed. Babe, do you think we need to bring a clown puppet home as our first purchase of the day. I do not at all. But I think the folks want that. John has found the giant cookware and he is happy about that. Folks are still coming in. I see glass. I'm going in. Ooh. Butter dish 48. That's beautiful. Oh wow. Look at all the... What do we got? 28. I like these purple amethyst glasses. Ooh, look at this, guys. Moon and stars. 48. These are neat. 28. I'll give you a deal on those, ma'am, if you're interested. 200 for all of them. There's 11. Look at the light here, guys. 20 bucks a piece. That's and beautiful. They need a little. That's beautiful. I don't know how to fix it. All the uranium. Yeah, that's the best idea not to. Yeah. I know. Oh, we'll find stuff today. Great use of That I'm going to have. John is on the hunt for a typewriter. I don't know how to zoom yet, guys. It's we need, but it's very cute. Trying to zoom. Nope, not working. Any luck? Nope. I found my first items, guys. She's holding them for me. And then I just found some squeakers over here we're gonna check out. Let's see what they have on the kitty cat. Look at the donkey, guys. I've never seen that. There's no price on the donkey. I don't see a price on the donkey. Hi there. How do you ask him? Oh, little, little, um, old Squeaky toy. Um, ten. Um, I think I'll pass. Thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else is over here, guys. Oh, we have some little mini nesting hens. A little wall pocket. That's uh, twenty. 20? Okay. That's cute. Enjoy. Where'd she go? Oh, she's over there. 
in your nesting hens? Um, like this one? Or the oh, littles? All um, three dollars a piece. Okay, I'll yeah. actually take all of them. Okay. Let's see what else we could find. Would you do like would that. you do eight on the squeaker cat? Sure. Okay. We'll add that one too. So cute. I just yes, cute. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. And I've never seen the donkey before. Yeah, he rolls. I think he's missing a um Aww. a pull string. Because he rolls. What are you asking on him? He's um cute. I'd like twenty five on him. I'll do it. Yeah? Because he's unique, yeah. yeah he is thank unique. you. And there's a manufacturer stamp oh, on cool. here. Oh cool. I think there's one on here too. Hey. You guys have a great booth. Oh thank you. Are these available items too, uh -huh. or are these someone's? Yep. Oh, hang on. Except these are Oh, yours. those are mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay. Are these two for three, these guys? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to grab those. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just That's loading okay. I'm you guys start, up. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start a little um, tally Thank you. So you have And then these are one of my girlfriends, so um, you know these are three dollars a piece. Yes. So that's three, six, nine, twelve. And I think it was eighteen there. Yep. Eighteen, ten. And what do you have on the picture, ephemera? Mm -hmm. um, those are all different prices. I just have them in a bag. Oh, okay. It's not so a it lot. Doesn't okay. Get wet. Okay. Yeah. Oh, are these the case yours? Uh huh. They certainly are. Um, I'll do eight for those. Oh, I totally missed the blow molds. You did. Yes. Mm. And since we're moving, we had a really we have a really good price on all this stuff because we're looking to move. So okay. These are fun. What are you? Little buttons. Those are cool. Bindings, five dollars. A little shoe. I love that. Oh, I'm sorry. I put them in my arm. Oh, you did. On the oh, okay. table. I was trying to help. <laughs> sorry. Glass, so I wanted to wrap those up too. So many goodies, oh my goodness. And then can I get pricing on these? So these are like two dollars. Okay. And then this would be um, fifteen okay, for the bell. I'm pool. gonna put that one back, but okay. I'm gonna grab those. Thank you okay. so much. You want these? Yes. Okay. We're at Renegers and this is Sophie's Home and Garden. And they this is my first shop and I've got three bags of goodies and you said you have an Etsy shop or an eBay? eBay. And is it Sophie's Home and Garden? So guys, Home be sure Home. to check check her out. Thank you. And her helper. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alright guys. So this runs all the way down and up that hillside. All the way that way and all the way that way. We just had our first stop. 53 dollars later. We are doing good friends. We are finding goodies. And then this is the buildings that are here all the time. They do have an antique mall that's open here every weekend. So these are all the regular buildings that are here year round. And I see a whole table of glass that we're going to have to go in and check out that is gleaming in the light. Look, wow. Look at all the glass. Don't move your arms. This table is $5 each. These are two for five, so I think we're gonna find some goodies in here. Let's see, this table is $10 each. I like that. Yep, we're gonna do, we're gonna have fun here, guys. Some little lamps. $10 each. Wow. 
and look at the swan vases and the custard glass. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. It's glass heaven. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, hmm. Hmm. Look at the little bears, and that table's 15 each. So we're gonna definitely take a look at some glass here, guys. Maybe John will do me a favor and he'll film as I'm shopping so I can actually shop this table. So these are $10 each. Let's see what we can Some blue birds here. So I have a blue bird. Ten, twenty, and the biggest two. Three. table and the rest you guys will just have to wait for the haul. Alright guys, $150 later we are stocked up for our next glass sale on whatnot. So we are not even 10 minutes in and I'm already $220 out. So we may be leaving early today. Let's see what else we can find. I'm trying to show you guys the hills that the vendors go all the way up the hillside. Here's something for all my Victorian ladies. These are beautiful. Kim, all my vintage, I'm thinking of you, girl. Look at these. Very, very cool. We've got some glass and some more babies over here. Here's one for all my mid-century folk. I spotted the cats. Thank you. Look I'll at look that cat. Yeah, it's a good one. Don't have to watch creatures in the That is very cool. Well, good morning, how are you? Good morning, good morning. If I can help you with anything. Thank you. Throw something out. Okay. Oh, look at the pig over there. Of course, I like the pig out of everything. This is neat. 
Italy. It smells very musty over here. I like this. Oh, this is like ceramic and brass. That is very cool. Wow. Guys, this is going to be a day of glass, maybe. So we have 98 on that one. Marbles, 48, 95, 15 on this. Kind of a ruffle. What do we have on this little guy? 28 or 48. Okay. Oh, we have a lady's head base. 85, 1950 Rubens Original. I like the ruffle base. Oh my gosh, all the glass guys. This is really neat too. We are now trying to see if we can see. I found him. Do you guys see who I see? Let's see if you guys can see who I see. I found George. I found the antique nomad, guys. He's talking to a person right now. But this must be his booth. Coming up, I found the antique nomad. So this must be his booth, guys. Awesome. Yes, I know it is. Thank right, you. Very thank much. you. Hi, how are you? Great. What do you have on all these hanging lamps? Uh, they're fun. I was asking 75 piece I could probably Look do, at the fish, guys. Uh, Look at everything. Oh, look yeah, at the ruffle nice glass. Yep. We love the ruffle glass. You're not the one doing tiki gardens. You look similar to the guy doing tiki gardens. What's That's he doing? What I thought. Is he... There's some George Briard too here, guys. Yeah, I've got a blue one. What do you, what do you have on this? Uh, guys, I don't remember if I said this was Sasha Brastoff. I meant Sasha Brastoff, not George Briard. Just in case I'm clarifying. Good morning, morning, folks. Morning. I'm Christine of Side Street Market. I'm a fellow YouTuber and part-time reseller. Oh, that's so cool. So, Christine, Side Street Market, mm -hmm. and I've seen Christine out there before. And what sort of things do you like? Um, like personally, I collect glass and chalkware. Oh, cool. And then I love mid-century and I hodgepodge everything else. Oh, yes, yeah, you, me, and everybody I know. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. so great. And um, uh, speaking of chalkware, I have something for you. I'm so happy. Yes, that's great. I will great. be adding this to my wonderful collection, a piece of George's table. I'm very excited. Oh, thank you. I'm excited, too. I just, uh, I picked this up and with this whole family of skunks and Georgia on my way down here. So it must have been meant to be. Uh, so Side Street Market is where they can find your videos. Yeah. And... We're filming each other, so yep, we are. You can My check. husband's in the background helping John. That's <laughs> wonderful. Well, I am looking forward to seeing your version of this, and I'll get out and do some filming too, and we'll compare notes. So everybody should uh, check her out at Side Street Market uh, here on YouTube. Oh, that's so awesome! Thank you. Thanks for. So, friends, that was super awesome. I got to meet George the Antique Nomad, and if I'm going to be sure for those of you who don't know him, I'm sure you guys all know him. If you check out his channel, he did film me purchasing a cute um, chalk bank from him. So I'll be popping up on his video when he does his, and I'll be sure to link below. But don't forget to go check out George the Antique Nomad. He knows so much, and he's just so sweet in person. This looks good. We got milk glass. We're hanging out in the shade because it is hot out there. Look at all the glass. Ooh, this guy's cool. We might pick up one or two things here. 25 for the set. That's nice. What else do we see? All right, we've got some more glass over here. Just seeing what catches my eye. That I know is Avon. It has gotten me in the past. That is flash. All right, friends, well, we are about an hour in and I'm almost broke. So um, you can see we're kind of uphill now. It runs all the way down there, all the way down there. If you're coming in from south, if you come up and go left, George is in the corner that way. You'll see a concession stand. He's over in the left corner if you're coming in from the front. If you're coming in from the back, come straight down. And the cart is full, guys. We love that. 
So we're going to see what other treasures we can find today. Friends, it is a Fiesta Wear van. Let me show you this. Look, the whole entire back is full of Fiesta Wear. <laughs> Let's see if I can show you guys. You guys see that? This whole booth is Fiesta Wear. How cool is that? Wow. That is a lot of Fiesta. Are those cats? Uh oh. Well, I didn't know Fiesta had cat stuff, so now I'm in trouble, friends. What's wrong? They had mm -hmm. American flags. Yeah. Here's more Fiesta, guys. As far as the eye can see, all the Fiesta. So we are just in the left corner of the Renningers. We haven't even made it to the center yet. Hey guys, so this place has given me all the mid-century vibes and look at this table set. John, I found our new dining room chair set. This is I love it, but only if we can get the uh, centerpiece as well. I know, right? That's really cool. I don't think the cats can destroy that. What do you think? Well, I never underestimate Never cats. underestimate Holly? Yeah. Okay. Look at all the gorgeous glass, guys. This booth is so cool. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It didn't sound good. This is something I've never seen before, friends. Look at this. And it's got a handle on it. I've never seen that before. We're going to take a look. Cause I might have to go in my personal collection, 78 swung glass pitcher. I think we may have to get that for my personal collection. We're coming up on some really cool quilts, guys. So I did buy that piece for my personal collection. So you'll see it in the haul video. How you doing, John? You hanging in there? Yep. I love that. Look at the black and pink flowers on that. That is really cool. I love the vintage mannequin heads. Don't worry now. Look. We found where all the mannequins go. How cool is that, guys? I found the Christmas, friends. I found the Christmas. Look at this bowl of cuteness. I didn't, I think I just did that. I wonder what these prices are. There's a flu for cats. Luckily, it's not a big deal, but do you want your money back? I got two bottle brushes for $5. No, just some matchsticks and some gloves. Little, little. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see what we see. Oh, we see a Santa. I see a Santa. Let's see how much the Santa is. Most of the stuff is marked. That one's missing its tab. Here we go. $30 on the Santa. Oops, I'm stepping on some stuff. I wonder what vintage ornaments are three. I wonder what the baubles are. Little bottle brushes, little mercury beads. <laughs> this looks like it glows. These look like they glow. Oh, look at the pink bulbs. Alright friends, it's time to refuel. Oh no, I have to pull the cart now. And it's full of glass. Oh, we're off to find John because John went in search of donuts. They have really good donuts here, so we are heading to the food. Would help if I was recording, guys. There's some biking. And then there's some carnival here. I'm liking this one. This one's pretty. If you're looking for signs, friends, this is the place. 
So we picked up a piece of Viking and we picked up that pretty swan dish. So that was fun. It's gonna be a good haul for you guys. It's gonna be like 90% glass, I'm pretty sure. Let's see what else we find. It's all the glass just drew me in from across the way. <laughs> You have, it looks like it's um, like a green custardy bell. Yes. What's on that one? Um, I got $40 on that. Okay. It's very early. It's, it's that, what they call Vaseline glass, or now people love it because it's radium glass. Yeah. And it glows under black light. It's a really big deal. <laughs> and now it needs a ringer. But okay. But the ringer is not a big deal. That's approximately 1880. Oh, wow. West Virginia glass. 40 Thank you. Well, you know, I just had 15 bucks. That's pretty. Oh, this is that, I think it's called the, the pulled glass. Uh, I forget what it's called. Fenton stretch glass, stretch glass, that's what it is. I've not seen stretch glass in person. You can see, babe, how like where it's pulled, it, cra it like crazes on the ends, because they literally pull it. Beautiful pieces. Guys, look at this wall pocket collection here. I've never seen so many in one place. Very, very cool. Guys, this is Brian, and this is his wonderful booth, and that is his twin brother, Barry, Barry. over there. She's filming you. Pay attention. <laughs> He's very nice. He's been educating me on his wonderful booth and all of the glassware and stuff. So are you guys from Florida, or are you just... Well, we live in uh, Fort Lauderdale for 30 years. Okay. Now we live in Michigan in the summer. We do a few shows up there. And so we, we specialize in a little bit of everything. Um, Fiesta is always collectible because somebody made it back in the 30s and everybody had some of the grandmas had some of this. This is the old stuff right here. This is what they call radioactive red. Oh. Because it actually has radium in it, a tiny, tiny bit. And I want to get you and in this too. Thank you. People totally flipped out because they thought they were going to get radioactive from the China, which is absolutely false. Well, that's does, good to know, because I get that question from people. But it people. does give off a small amount of radium. <laughs> it actually does. So we have new Fiesta, old Fiesta here. I have some older back there. And they had a contract with Looney Tunes. Oh, my goodness. Look at and that. And so they did a whole bunch of Looney Tunes stuff. Wow. Which is, the Looney Tunes stores were in malls throughout America. So they had a contract with Fiesta. They're all closed now, so oh, the Looney wow. Tunes stuff is super collectible. And let me just, one second, I think my battery's dying. Oh, sure. I gotta tend to smoke. So that was fun, guys. We met, um, I believe it was Brian and his brother, and unfortunately my battery died in the middle of him giving us some history on Fiesta Wear, but I learned a lot, and you meet the nicest people here. You really do. So let's see. We see some more glass. I like this little heart guy. That's cute. Oh, it's got a boo-boo. Alright. Fry glass. These are great for displays. And then look at those Hagar sailfish. Alright guys, well we are having fun. The cart is getting really full. I think it's only a... Uh, 10.30. We are almost out of cash already. <laughs> um, that guy was really nice. I got the blue decanter for 25 and then those little baskets, he gave them to me each for 10 So I got all those Westmoreland baskets for $10 each. So they'll be coming to a whatnot sale near you. Guys, look at these vintage lamps. Look at those beautiful fringe lamps. Gorgeous. So guys, I really want this, but John said no. She's not coming home with us today, sadly. Some great pieces here. Look at that. Lots of great, great vintage going down here. Just wanted to give you a little pan. And then there's glass, and we know I love glass. The colors are the best. So this video is gonna end up being the video on glass. 
apparently. Ooh, and that's amethyst glass. Those are cool. I'll have to find out about those. All right, guys, that is the end of round one. The car is super full and super heavy. Our haul is probably gonna be a glass haul because I feel like 95% of what I bought today so far is glass. We, it is 10.30, we've been here two and a half hours. So what we're doing is we're taking a trip back to the car to unload, to sit and rest a little bit, and then we'll go back for round two. Guys, check this out. It's a mid-century owl double-faced lamp. How cool is that? I thought it was a cookie jar. It lights oh. up, it's really cool. That is so Both neat. Sides. It's from the late 60s, early 70s. I Look at the cat, guys. All right, guys, well, stay tuned for the haul because John and I are going to keep shopping, but I'm going to wrap it up here. So thanks for coming along with us to Renninger's Antique Extravaganza this year, and we'll hopefully be back next year, and we'll see you soon.